What is going on, guys and girls? Welcome back to EU4 as Montferrat with a very, very interesting event. Because it appears as if our queen consort Mariah Theresia of the Van Habsburg dynasty is having an affair. And this is really, really important because we just gained a new heir in the last episode. And now, question is, is Carlo an actual Palaya Locus or not? And uh, I personally think he's not, but um, I don't know for sure, you know, I don't know. Um, what do we do, really? I mean, this it's interesting because uh, obviously this is not CK2, so there's there are not that many options. It's basically like, there, like whatever you pick, it's not going to affect the air at all uh, because it's not connected at all. But it, it's kind of interesting. So I feel like... Now, we want to keep the family alive, but at the same time, we don't want the family to... Like, we, we want, like, the actual Pelea Locus to rule. What Like, if we're going to continue, Carlo, and Carlo is not an actual Pelea Locus, that would be terrible. So, I feel like um, we're going to have to divorce Mariah Theresia, so we'll lose some prestige for that. And next, um, we're going to have to fire that man. Um... That was Gaetano Casabianca. Uh, he's going to be fired. And I think he's going to be... He's going to leave course. Uh, the uh, the court, I mean. Actually, well. Let's just banish him as well. And the money is paying at his trip, I guess. So that's good. And then I suppose we'll take the extra tax. There you go. Wow. All right, so... I think if we have the chance of maybe, like if we get the chance to get another heir, I'll take it. Uh, but that means we don't have a consort, consort right now. So um, if we die now, we're going to be, I don't know. We'll just have, I'll take this for sure. But yeah, we'll only, like we'll have a regular regency. I could disinherit him right now. But that's going to, like that's a huge risk. What is our what are our chances again? Twenty five percent chance for a new heir, right? So technically, four years from now, we would get a new one. Three years from now, we could be fertile. Man, I really want to click this. It's difficult. We'll see. We'll see. Um, it's a difficult decision. But yeah, a truce with Milan ended. And so, um, I think... Okay, we need a little bit more spinal cord. I'll wait. We've finally converted Salerno. Very good. We've dealt with the rebels. Let's make sure that you stop drilling. Um, and, uh, yeah. We'll get that claim. And we'll have you come back. Right, that did not take long at all. Uh, we have to wait for our morale to be up, though. So, two more months, maybe? I'm ke I keep losing claims on Aragon. That's fine. And our role match with Austria ended. I understand why. Now, do I want Austria back as an ally? That's the question. I mean, they're going through religious turmoil again. I don't know. Um, I mean, they're okay. They're not, like, super weak, but they're not super amazing either. Sweden is very strong over here. Probably going to form, um, yeah, Scandinavia. I could see that. But they're unfortunately at odds with Poland, Lithuania. So let me see who dislikes the Ottomans. It's unfortunately Russia, but Russia and Poland, Lithuania don't like each other. Right? Yeah, shit. So we can only really have one ally, and we've invested so much into Poland, Lithuania. We're just gonna have to stick with them. Maybe the Mamluks uh, could be uh, could be a friend. I think so. Let's improve relations here. But I do need another royal marriage. Actually, let's come back. Let's get another royal marriage first with maybe Brittany, and um, and hope that this is like a fertile woman that is not, you know, trying things. Oh, we already have royal marriage with them. Uh, what about Bavaria? Let's go for them or someone else actually theodoro maybe or sweden austria anyone hmm 
Austria. What would happen right now if they were to die? Philip from Habsburg. Succession war between Poland and Bohemia. What about Aragon? Well, they're my rival, so that's not happening. What about Sweden? They don't want to. Let's go with Theodora then. Prince David of Gothia. That's an interesting name. Doesn't want to... Okay, well... Do I really want to go with the Austrian one again? I don't know. I feel like I don't. What about Hungary? Oh, they would go for a royal marriage. Let's go with a royal marriage with Hungary then. Okay. That did not lead to a consort. Okay. Burgundy wants an alliance. Uh, probably not, to be honest. Probably not. Guaranteed by France. Um, I mean, I don't think so, to be honest. Does England have claims on your stuff? England has claims on your stuff. I'm going to decline. Um, it's just, it's probably, probably would be fine, but I'm just, I'm not having a great feeling about this. So anyway, uh, we should declare the war in Milan here. Let's go. Uh, we don't need any allies. Savoy, Ravensburg, it's all good. Actually, man, I would love to take Savoyan lands. Probably will. But let's take, um, let's take Milan in this one. There we go. I'm not sure who Savoy is allied to. Burgundy, alright. Anyway, go in there, crush him. Crush him till they're dead. Alright, good. Good stuff. Uh, let's check. I'm at war with quite a lot of people. Let's make sure Savoy is being taken as well. And the Cav can actually go ahead and uh, besiege some stuff. Let's make sure we go speed 4. Not too fast, not too slow. Alright, another age ability. Alright, we have all the age abilities, so that's cool. I don't need the resistance stuff. That could have been like useful at the beginning, so I could have stayed Catholic. But honestly, I mean, I've held Rome for a while now, and it would have been really annoying to constantly get... Either ask about giving it up or just, you know, having that negative penalty there. Are there positive penalties? Probably not. Uh, okay. Hello. Um. Oh, shit. No, that's not good. I guess we're going to lose the calf. That's usual. I always lose my calf. Oh, well. Who cares, right? We can always get more calf. Okay. Um, hello. Okay, we did win, though. That's nice. Uh, we're being insulted here from all sides. We're winning this fight. Okay, we actually squished them. They keep sending in, like, small armies that we are able to defeat relatively easily. Oh, wow. Like, two stack wipes? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Another one? Third one? <laughs> Alright, that was kind of ridiculous right there. But yeah, let's go back to Milan. We need to siege that stuff. <laughs> right, that was funny, actually. I like that. Okay, um, let's give me one more cav. Just because. It's actually kind of useless at this point, because I keep losing them. Because I always detach them, but it's fine. Let's get you together. I really hope we're fertile. Then I want to disinherit Carlo. Because he's not that great anyways. So yeah. Okay, anyway, let's check this out. Uh, it's the same kind of people again. So let's just... You go to Aachen, which we can't. Alright, let's just go here then. Uh, and... Oh. Right, I could embrace an institution. Now, do I need to? Because it's actually spreading relatively quickly through our lands, right? I mean, it's not that quick, actually. Um, hold on. When is the next tag happening? It's not happening for another seven years, so there's really no point. I'm just helping others, really. So, let's not do this. Okay, so you're trying to besiege Florence. Good stuff. It won't really work for you. You don't actually have enough men. How many? Oh, we've got five, 5,400 men in the garrison. We could sortie here. And deal some real nice damage, but we're just we would just be defeated, so there's no point. Um, 
I can't actually reach this. I can't reach Aachen now. Okay. Alright, you've left. That's probably the better idea. Uh, oh, they had like a single troop over there, I guess. Okay, um, Ravensburg. Goodbye, dude. Steal your trade. Give me your stuff. Um, Alright, you'll say yes soon enough. Okay, there falls Aachen. Uh, Aachen. Aachen. Anyway, uh, destroy you guys. They're gonna run away anyway, right? Neapolitan separatists have crossed. And that's not good. Keep losing claims. But well, keep winning battles too. Wow, nice. Okay, we're gonna go here. Have you go to Roma. And yeah, what do you say now? You say peace? Not yet. Okay, you're feeling hot. He's feeling hot. Because he's got 2,000 men, you know. I mean, I would feel hot too if I was him. Alright, there he goes. Goodbye. Aachen, you're next. Uh, yeah. No, steal trade. Some cash. Goodbye. And now, it's just Frankfurt, Savoy. Yeah, now I might take some provinces from Savoy if I can. Uh, really depends, honestly. Okay, let's crush these rebels. Okay, Milan has fallen. Um, so yeah, it kind of depends. What can I take from you without people freaking out about it? If I do this, everyone is going to freak out about it. Okay. The Papal States, Milan, Savoy, Aragon, Ferrara. So I really can't take all that much more. I can make you revoke your cause. That's something I will do. And I think I'll just take Milan so we can finish this and get Italy. I think that's probably the way to go. Um... It's probably the way to go. I can always take this other stuff later, but Milan is super important so we can form the nation. I don't really want to mess that up. So let's maybe just do that then. Let's just do that. Get some cash. I'll keep your friends around. Yeah, let's make this a quick, easy war without too much trouble. Uh, I'll just take Milan. Okay? Sounds good to me. And... There we go. 200. Okay. Hello. 200 admin for that one province. Okay. Now, if the Austrians try to uh, take Brescia from us, um, then that's going to be their problem. Because we'll have to declare war on them. <laughs> so I hope for them that they won't do that. Uh, okay. Anything in particular that would be worthwhile oh yeah manufacturing Roma would be good and I would not mind uh, Naples to spawn here because it's gonna make it easier for me I will say though that I kind of want some more stuff from you actually you know what let's go ahead and fabricate on Tunis here yep I and I, I will go to fabricate on Aragon as well okay so, uh, manpower is looking fine, but it can increase quite a bit more. And, yeah. So, what's our ASA? So, next year we're going to get another personality. If it's fertile, I'm going to disinherit Carlo. If not, I don't really want to risk this ending. Okay, you left the coalition. That's smart. Very smart, actually. He's careful. Hmm. Could have been useful before the... Uh, I guess I should have waited. Alright, I didn't think about it. Alright, let's get the extra merchant though. Let's see what we can send him. So, where do I have my merchants? Champagne. You can probably send him... Oh, I already have him in here. Let's send him to Alexandria. Transfer trade. Let's see if that helps. 
Oh yeah, that's significant. Okay, and there we go. This is it. So Carlo is now on the throne, whether we want it or not. <sighs> I'm glad I did not disinherit. Because then there would be no more Palea Locus. But wow, we gotta be... We gotta be expanding our family a little bit. Little four-year-old Carlo, he may or may not be of the true Paleologus blood, but there's no way to prove it. He's gonna believe he's a Paleologus, so I guess we'll just keep on moving forward. Um, who knows, man? Who knows? But yeah, uh, it should technically be possible to form Italy here, and it's, I guess it's gonna be Carlo to, to form Italy. We just need the core province, and then that's it. And for the Roman Empire, well, we need a lot more. Um, that is... You know, I'm not sure if that's even going to be possible, but anyway, uh, I can build a lot more troops. I would love to. We definitely need to get to our foursome, especially since we have so much money. We kind of have to. Now, 15 to 12. Let's build this up. Let's build up to 20. Uh, 6, 20. I think that's how we're going to do this. And what was that? 26. There you go. Alright. That looks good. Um, Truce with Ragusa has ended. Neapolitan Separatists have attacked us. Ah, we're defeating them now. Well, okay. And you are now able to do whatever. Okay, Switzerland wants an alliance. Poland wants a marriage? Sure. Uh, do I want Switzerland as an ally? Oh, wow. We have got nothing. We've just got Great Britain and Poland. I mean, actually, Switzerland, sure. Why not? Why not? Because I don't want to expand into this territory. So it's all good. It's all fine by me. They can be like a buffer here. I, I, uh, I think that's a cool idea, actually. Okay. So. Uh, building up our troops. I should probably have our soldiers drill while we're paying for them. It's probably the best. Okay, nobility has been granted. Oh, that has run out, actually. We can... Uh, oh, we've assembled an army. Manpower recovery speed, year yearly army duration. This is actually really good because our manpower is relatively low. Love that. And uniting the home region. That's exactly what I'm planning on doing. Very nice. The game knows what I want. Gain a core on Milan. Alright. Bohemia declared war on Austria. Okay. But, this is a big deal. Do I... So this is weird. So the Regency Council is doing this? Is calling out Italy? That's actually so strange. But I guess it's the four-year-old Carlo who's, who's doing this. But we all know that Theodoro and Queen Celeste, they were the ones that really pushed for this. Um... So yeah, the country changes to Italy. Italy gains permanent claim on Italy region. Gain 25 prestige. Should I maybe wait? Spend the prestige on some other stuff? I should probably do that. Uh, let's let's do this. Grand Monopoly Charters. Uh, seek support of a clergy. And uh, can't do anything here. Or should I wait with forming Italy? Just so that we can actually... I mean, because there's no benefit no immediate benefit other than well having all of these uh, uh, cultures united hmm I'm actually I think I'm gonna wait on this um, and I'll do this at a later point either when the prestige is more useful or when we actually come of age but for now that will be it um Although it would be a nice ending to the series. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to do it right now. We're going to form Italy right here. And I want new traditions ambitions. Uh, if only for the fact that this is very useless. The plus two papal influence. So, yes please. New ambitions and traditions. Let me see what we got. Oh, there we go. So, we have 20% global trade power. 50% improved relations. That's going to be so good with the aggressive expansion. Plus 20% fort defense in the end here. We also get stability cost reduction, infantry combat ability, galley cost in combat ability, national manpower 33%, extra tax, 
yearly prestige and co-creation cost minus 25%. Awesome. And we get also all kinds of claims, permanent claims. Very decent, so we don't need to actually fabricate any anything. So it's actually good that I started fabricating on Tunis there instead. Or at least building the spy network. Very nice. This is looking good. Now I think we're also going to grab the provinces from Savoy just because they're uh, Italian culture. But uh, that's, the, that's the whole reason any, anyway. Um, looking good. Italy has now formed. It took a while. Uh, we're faster than Spain. But obviously Great Britain formed before that. Russia formed faster. Um, but still... That's very cool, and uh, I wonder if that has changed anything for our force limit. Not, well, sort of. Actually, no, maybe not. Anyway, that was it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Now, if you want to help return Constantinople to its rightful owners, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and you can even go a step further and join the newly formed Varangian Guard by becoming a supporter on Patreon.